Hello my dear children. Welcome back to your poetry classes. Yes, today we are going to learn your fourth poem after Blenheim or The Battle of Blenheim. Children, in this poem we are going to witness the after effects of the war. Yes, war is always disastrous. Whatsoever you do in life, but victory matters. But after victory anyone thinks what happened with the people who struggled and strived for victory nobody thinks everyone gets busy in the celebration of the victory and the losers they lose their victory they will be busy in finding out the reason where and why and what happened to their tries or determination to win but children the person who wins rarely he turns back to check what all disasters happened to bring this victory this is a poem which is really a painful thing to know what all happens after wars let me read out first paragraph this poem is and yes this poem is written by robert southey robert southey is a great english romantic poet okay he is also called as poet laureate or court poet of his time okay he wrote many different poems and he this poem is written from the scene which happened in southern germany okay now let us see what all happens in this poem yes this is a great lesson for each person in his life to learn children war is never good whatsoever we struggle for life and we die for nothing this is what the gist of life every human being should understand for what we are leaving not for what we are preparing to die yes after death we believe that the there is heaven there is hell that is all secondary secondary depends on our life and our deeds war never comes under peace war is against peace let us see a scene where one grandfather is playing with his grandchildren okay it was a summer evening old caspar's work was done and he before his cottage door was sitting in the sun and by him sported on the green his little grandchild wilhelmine see here a old man whose name is casper was sitting and relaxing after his whole day's work and his grandchildren were playing around around his house in the garden and granddaughter was playing near a stream nearby and also grandson okay and granddaughter's name is wilhelmine she saw her brother peter kin and grandson's name is peterkin second paragraph she saw her brother peterkin roll something large and round which he beside the rivulet in playing there had found he came to ask what he had found that was so large and smooth and round and peterkin there when he was playing near the rivulet means river he found a round big object which was just like a ball with curiosity he came to his grand uh, to his sister wilhelmine and asked what it is and he reached to his grandfather also to ask what it is because it was different from ball but looked like ball white color it was nothing but human skull old casper took it from the boy who stood expectant by and then the old man shook his head and with a natural sigh this some poor fellow skull said he who fell in the great victory oh ho you got this near the rivulet means in mud this is a poor man's skull who died in the war okay who died in the war who died when war was going on and his head was buried naturally who fell in the great victory means while fighting for a great victory to win for someone 
this fellow died. I did find them in the garden for there's many here about. And often when I go to plow, the plowshare turns them out. For many thousand men, said he, were slain in that great victory. Grandfather explained what the children saw. That he got this kind of skulls many in the field when he is plowing. When that plow turns the mud from downside to upside, with that the head rolls out from the mud, which are buried under the soil. And these all were the people who died in the war for the great victory. Means the patriots. Now tell us what it was all about. Young Peter King. He cries and little Wilhelmine looks up with wonder waiting eyes. Now tell us all about the war and what they fought each other for. Grandchildren were excited to know that there were many heads under the soil and they wanted to know how these people died and what was the war about. Why people fought? For what these many people died? Children were excited with curiosity. It was the English, Caspar cried, who put the French to rout. But what they fought each other for? And everybody said, quote, he, that was a famous victory. Yes, children. Now, grandfather said that it was English. English who put this French down. Means, Casper went on explaining that British side and French people fought with each other and English defeated the French. It was really unable to say who fought how and how this English people got victory. And for this victory, thousands of people were killed. My father lived at Blenheim then, yon little stream hard by. So, this old Casper explains that his father lived in a place, Blenheim, next to the river only, where this war happened between British, that is English and French. They burnt his dwelling to the ground. That people who came to fight there in Blenheim, that Blenheim was selected as a battlefield and they burnt the house of this old Blenheim. Means, uh, sorry, old uh, father, old man, old Casper's father, means Casper's house was burnt, which was located in Blenheim. And he was forced to fly. He was asked and forced to go away from there. So with his wife and child he fled. Nor had he where to rest his head. He just walked away from there. He did not have any place to stay or to protect his family. He just went away. Run away or flew away from that place. In the fear of death. With fire and sword the country round was wasted far and wide. And many a ch childing mother then and newborn baby died. And things like that, you know, must be at every famous victory. He goes on explaining the results, what happens after the victory. Who all are killed during the victory? Children, not only the warriors, but with that warriors, who all died? See? The whole countryside means with fire and sword, the country round means the entire countryside was ravaged means it was completely destroyed. The countryside was ravaged means completely destroyed during the war. Fire and sword means the fire which came out and also the sword which was used ruined again destroyed the whole property of the human lives. In that, who all died? Pregnant women died. Newborn babies died. And this Casper says that this all happenings are part and parcel of a famous victory which is never considered by the people who win and go. Ladies die. Children die. And also soldiers die. 
old men are left without any help and they also die because of starving after the war war is for victory but victory is not for life that is the thing we can experience in this poem now uh, next paragraph let me explain you was a shocking sight after the field was won for many thousand bodies here lay rotting in the sun but things like that you know must be after a famous victory children in battlefield after the war was won what was left in the battlefield death destruction pain grief and dead bodies were left to rot in there under the sun nobody was there to bury them nobody was there to console the families which were left after the dead person there were thousands of bodies remaining in the battlefield casper tells that this is all common after a great victory yes victory followed by many pains victory followed by many deaths victory followed by a huge disaster and tells again continues great prince the duke of melbourne won and our good prince eugene why it was a very wicked thing said little wilhelmine nay nay my little girl got he it was a famous victory and casper tells that everybody praised the duke of marble and prince eugene for the great victory fine english people won they gave to the allied forces means the people who the allied forces which fought with them uh, they won over them and they really took the victory wilhelm and asked is it really uh, a good thing that this people were celebrating victory after such a wicked thing in the battlefield and tells again grandfather tells that yes my child it was a great victory whatsoever you will not understand the happiness of victory and victory is always a victory it is not rude it is not cruel but it is victory and everybody praised the duke who this great fight did win but what good came of it at last quoth little peterkin why that i can't tell what said he but it was a famous victory and again uh, grandfather tells that everyone there uh, praised duke for the victory everyone everyone was happy and celebrating the victory but peter kin being very innocent questioned his grandfather why what is good in this victory that everyone celebrated what at last good they found in this but grandfather said that i don't know why that i can't tell i can't tell what happiness is hidden in this victory but it was a victory famous victory children victory is victory but for a victory we should not put ourselves to death correct many a times in mobs in a uh, wars we think that even if we die we want to win that is true that is true that is called as patriotism yes even when enemy attacks we can't sit tying our hands i'm not telling that but if war is avoidable by the peace if war is avoidable by the humanity we should do that is what this poem is communicating because two innocent children when they question their grandfather he is unable to answer the reason behind this victory why they wanted this victory after putting so many people and alive people to death a war means disaster my dear students war is never good yes many a times war becomes necessary we have read in history and many stories that because of this war we got this victory because of this war we gained this victory today we are like this like that but each war had a great disaster story behind which is left unexplained so my lesson today ends with a message that 
always strive for humanity always support humanity always stand with peace not with war avoid the wars even small war when you fight with someone it brings a pain right if it is war between two armies it brings a big pain if it is between two countries again the level of pain increases so let us all pray and also let us all live and also let us all wish for humanity thank you